Looking for an Evernote replacement? If you're wondering if Google Drive could be it, then this episode's for you. Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. A month ago, Evernote made some pretty big changes to its free plan, and it's prompted a great deal of discussion. Some people say the price increase was long overdue. Others say that they don't use Evernote enough for it to be worth the asking price, but that the free plan is now too limiting. People use the same analogy for two diametrically opposed arguments. One camp says that Evernote's a bargain, that you pay as much for a Netflix subscription as you do for the Evernote subscription that you use all day, every day. While the other camp says, what? A Notes app that costs as much as Netflix? See what I mean? Many people are looking for where to turn. Personally, I'm sticking with Evernote. However, I do want to be helpful to the person who wants to go in another direction. If you want to leave, you've got several obstacles and you need to know what they are. First, you have to decide where you want your information to go. Second, you've got to figure out how to get it there. And there's not an easy answer. There's really nothing that's going to bring all of your data from Evernote over in exactly the form that you had it. There's going to be some cleanup work to do. And third, there's the learning curve involved in mastering whatever new platform is in front of you. So if you're looking for a place to go, the answer may be something that you already have. So many of the people that I work with are in the educational arena, and most educators and their students are familiar with Google Drive. Some use it much better than others, but nobody is starting from square one. I've created a manual for just that audience. So whether you want to move from Evernote to Google Drive or whether you already use Google Drive and you just want to learn how to organize it better, well, this manual's for you. You'll learn how to emulate an inbox in Google Drive. You'll get some specific suggestions for folders to set up and how to keep your system clean. You'll learn about Google's substitute for the Evernote Web Clipper. You'll have a strategy for replacing the tags that you're going to lose during that Evernote conversion. And it's not the one that I hear others talking about. And I even show you how to clean up that dreaded shared with me in Google Drive. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say that Evernote changed its free plan, in December of 2023, the new owners, Bending Spoons, who had ever, had ever noted that time for a little less than a year, announced a drastic reduction to the free plan. It's now 50 notes maximum rather than the unlimited notes that we had before, with the only stipulation being that you couldn't upload more than 60 megabytes per month, a pretty generous amount for most people with the free plan. Now you can only have one notebook, whereas before you could have more notebooks than you probably ever need. And then you can use Evernote from two devices maximum, something that's been in place for quite a while. So you could have Evernote on a computer and Evernote on your phone would be the most logical things. Clearly the free plan has now become more of a trial. Try it on a limited number of notes. If you like it and you see it as a big improvement in your ability to store, share, and retrieve information, then subscribe. That's the new message. But for the person whose needs are limited, I recently created a post along with a YouTube video and podcast episode on how you might use the free plan and do it successfully if your needs are small. I created a similar piece of content on the Evernote Web Clipper. I have links to both of those pieces of content in the blog post. So back to the manual. If you're interested in getting a copy, it's available as a PDF for a nominal cost. I have a link directly to that manual in the body of the blog post, or you can go to my Gumroad store and you'll see all of the other available products there. That address is drfrankbuck.gumroad.com. So D-R-F-R-A-N-K-B-U-C-K dot gumroad, G-U-M-R-O-A-D dot com. 
So whether it's Evernote, Google Drive, or something else, having your digital information organized is priceless. I hope this content is going to help get you there. Thanks for stopping by. This has been Frank Buck, helping you get organized and make it look easy.